Hey there guys, it is round one, game two of the uh, Mystic Piper versus uh, Agent Fairies. That's it. So, uh, the. I don't think we caught his name. Nick. Nick. His name was Nick. Nick, okay, so N I Q Q. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Anyways, he went first because he lost last round, so he pitches a. Uh, the, the one that grabs the field spell. I think it's Zera. Zara, something like that. He doesn't know how to shuffle his deck very well. He likes to pile shuffle it, but he wanted to do it quickly. So he just did that, and I just give it a quick shuffle. Oop. I stacked the dark hole, obviously. Yeah, he put that on bottom. Because that's how pros do it, right? So, so his turn, he played the Sanctuary set two. Set one monster. Yeah, he set two total. Set one monster, set one spell trap, and passed it. So I drew, I played Doom Caliber. I think it's a strong opener, it really is. It was a Nova Summoner. Nova Summoner. Then Doom Count Negate destroyed. So did you side anything for this matchup? I didn't. I didn't need to. I, Doom Caliber hurts this deck a lot. I already main two, so it's like... I had a Fader in my hand, so I didn't really care. Yeah. Um... He did uh, call the haunted his Zephyros, I believe. No, it's not Zephyros. Oh, his Nova Summoner. Yeah. And then he tributed it for a a theme. Is that the name of that one? I think so. I'm not entirely sure. But and the call of the haunted actually. The call of the haunted should have stayed. Yeah, I completely missed that. Then I set the life points because he hit me, and I dropped Gores on him. Using my side deck card as my tokens. Yeah, this time player two is actually the person on the right. Yeah, no, that, that didn't switch. No, it did switch. Oh, yeah. So then I attacked with Gores. So it looks like in your... Oh, no, uh, I passed the... No, main phase two, he's smashing ground. Yeah. My Gores. That's inconvenient. Eh, it's fine. So it looks like in your hand you had a Kika Bayou... Um, Fader, a couple other cards. Um, wh when I shuffle them a bit, you can see them on the camera. I didn't even notice that. I think I also had an effect filler. I was gonna pro. I think I was gonna go for like a, yeah. I want effect filler, synchro for. I think I went for Stardust actually, for the effect negation. I did. I went for Stardust. I was thinking Scrap Dragon, but I didn't have any things to set. Yeah, it looks like your hand was full of monsters. Yeah, so I attacked over, just in case he had something like a D prison or honest, honest. Oh, honest. What Not honest. Is. Um, mirror force. Yeah, right that here. That was everywhere. It sucked. Well, it's that too. Yeah. Even I ran some. I should have. Yeah, he sets one. Looks uh, like you missed the life point. Yes, I did miss the life points on the on the the one facing us, unfortunately. Play a pot of rarity, revealing yep. the forbidden lance. What is that? A lance, Kinka Bayou, and a Mechlord Weasel. Yes. I went for the lance. I wanted to go for the lance just because I don't know what the face down is. Yeah. I mean, I already attacked, so I'm safe from that. I already summoned, I'm safe for that. I'm pretty sure it's probably a magic gemmer or a trap gemmer. Which isn't bad, but it's a two for one, and it's like, yeah. Again, the players are new, so they run. See, I ran into two substantial cards. A shine ball? No, no. It looks like that. Uh, it looks like it was, it was one of the agents I ran into, and then I set the forbidden lance. Forbidden lance, probably one of the best cards I'd used today. Oh yeah, that thing saved me many, many times. So not much going on. Looks like he passed. No, with I, an open field. he passed with open or. No, it's just my main phase two. I set, uh, I set the forbidden lance, and I set. Well, no, because if this this couldn't have been main phase two, because you attacked into the face down. I did. That was the next turn. He had passed with an open field. That's right. Um, so I did hit him, and then I, I think I set Sangin, just in case of a dark hole. Then he went for copy cat. Wow. Co yes. Okay. This is what he did. That's a night a Sangin I set. He copycatted my um, my Stardust. Instead of ramming into it, he went for the Night Assailant. So I flipped Night Assailant, destroyed Copycat. Wouldn't he have been able to use 
He's, does it copy status effect? It copies his attack and defense. Okay. Looks like there's your Mystic Piper. Then I Pipered. Yeah. Love that card so much. Drew revealed the T-King. Pretty good draw. Yeah. I think the best reveal, though, is when you do it with a uh, Black Luster Soldier. Yep, I do, I do that a couple times, actually. So I search my graveyard a bit, just seeing if I have any light dark targets. And I do. Yeah, you should have the... Uh... And then it's like, oh, look, BLS! He was actually pretty pretty uh, excited to see that card. He's like, wow! And it looks like you didn't banish anything from your graveyard. I did. I put him underneath sideways. Oh, okay. Yep, I shook hands. He had nothing. Yep, that was game. GG'd. Yeah, so that was a 2-0? Yes. So that was game one? Uh, no, round that was one, round one. Game two. So please stick around for round two coming up soon. Game two. And he won it. So remember, it's not the side of the deck that matters. It's what you put in it.